Lake, mountains, kids. Why do we travel? Or a better question to ask, why did people travel? I mean, before posting stage photos at different corners of the world became a competition, before linguistic hegemonies made intercultural communication even remotely possible, before railways and airplanes brought about the dawn of commercial traveling, before hashtags, Google Map, and economy class. Why did people travel? Certainly not to see a lake, or mountains, or kids. They were pilgrims and missionaries, merchants by the caravans, soldiers, spies, and lone diplomats. The true, true adventurers we worship, and sometimes pretend to be, but could never become. But maybe, maybe, there are still chances we can find that adventurer buried in us. Because I just did in Urumqi, following these steps. Step one: find a lake. Because it might have religious or historical significance, and that makes you a pilgrim. So now we're at the Tanshu Lake, or in Uyghur, it's called the Bokhta Kuri. And according to folklore legends, this is where the Taoist Cho Chu Ji politely asked Genghis Khan to stop killing people, to stop massacring uh, subjects of kingdoms that he conquered. So, and as you might know that I'm writing a Kung Fu novel and in my book the story happened in Yuan Dynasty and I also mentioned about this place. And we, here we are, it's still uh, a layer of eyes on the lake. I think we're gonna go up there somewhere later on, but I can't, I'm not sure which one, which mountain top there we're gonna go to. Step two, climb a steep mountain. The last capillaries in a sophisticated system of transportation that modern vehicles have not reached. Not even cable cars. Unless you take a helicopter. So here we are halfway to the mountaintop. Here is almost zero degrees and there's a lot of snow. Uh, the snow is actually melting so you can see the ice cones forming on the cliffs from the water dripping down from uphill. The higher sections of the hill won't be open until May, but it's beautiful enough. And I was just talking to some of the staff working here. It seems like the majority of them are uh, Kazakh ethnics, and I just learned some basic Kazakh from them. A lot of the Kazakh language is very similar to Uyghur, like goodbye in Kazakh would be the same as Uyghur, Khosh. And that's the thing with, you know, ethnic minorities in Xinjiang. As soon as you start, you know, studying their language and learning about their culture, and you're asking them about their, you know, their native languages, they immediately turn extremely friendly. And they're equally curious about you, like where you're from, how come you're learning our language. And people are just so friendly. So here's my suggestion, before you go anywhere, you know, at least learn some of their basic readings, um, some basic components of their culture. People will treat you very nicely um, if you treat them with the respect that they deserve. <sighs> Just beautiful mountains, man. The snow here. It's getting misty as the day is coming to an end, but it's, it's really beautiful uphill. Step three. Hang out with the local kids. Because it is an adventure by itself. Trust me. Ibrahim. <laughs> 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 Ibrahim, 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 
他下，伊布拉因他下，是你教我不好的词，坏蛋，坏蛋。So remember we were hanging out with the、uh, little kids, the elementary school kids at the、uh, Wager Majority neighborhood, and、uh, we took a lot of photos. And the kids were like, "Oh, can we have the photos, please?" And we're like, "No, sadly, we got to print the photos, which we can't deliver to you today. So we're probably not going to see them." Uh, but today we got some free time before we、uh, leave Urumqi for Keshke, and before doing so, we'll print out the photos and hopefully give them back to the kids and share this little piece of memory with them. So we're here printing the photos. It's expensive. It's expensive. We printed out like ten something of them, ten of them, and then there are better ones, and there are ones that are not so well taken.、Uh, my only worry will be they, if they start a fight over like who has the best photo and stuff. But. You come here, you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Yeah. Oh, 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 These are just completely arbitrary elements that comprise my last days at Udomchi, and I'm just trying to make my vlog look more structured. They don't really make an adventurer. The only thing that makes an adventurer is adventure itself, and what is adventure? It's up to you to define. Ah, put us in the hammer's butt. Bye bye, horse. Cross.